Patrick Mahomes still got it done. Here on that's Xavier Worthy, fastest man at the NFL Combine in history right there. But this was the most tragic play of the day. Rasheed Rice, their budding superstar wide receiver, tragically carted off of the field. We fear it is a torn ACL. We are awaiting the MRI results. As soon as ah, we, get them, that's, we that's will rough. break the news for y'all, so that's stay rough. with us to hear what happens there. Oh. Nah, that's, that's, that's terrible. Rough, nobody man. go down, man. James, I got to ask real quick, before I get yeah. to the question, because I'm wondering, it's a facility. Y'all going to hear your conversations. You won't hear anywhere else. And I'm going to ask James a question. I don't even know if I'm allowed to ask on television. But I'm going to ask wait, anyway. What, oh, what's the question? <laughs> uh, Rasheed Rice got hurt. Yeah. ACL. Yeah. It was friendly fire. Yes, it was. Yeah, a football field friendly fire when your homeboy closes his eyes and bomb, and now you hurt. It happens sometimes. So Rasheed yeah. Rice is furious. Mm -hmm. Bah, who did this to me? Then he looks up and he sees Jesus, it Patty. was... Number 15. <laughs> Patty trying you to look up and you see Patrick Mahomes was the dude who likely ended his season and yeah. is going to put him in rehab for the next six to nine months. How mad can Rasheed Rice be knowing Patrick oh. Mahomes is the one who did it? Oh, no, he can't on, be mad dog. at all, man. He can't be mad at all. His, his dog is going out there. Well, you got a smile on your face like that. Period. Just made a mistake. He's going out there to make a tackle. Like you said, friendly fire. Yeah, oh. He knows Patrick Mahomes didn't say... That's what she right? No, of course not. <laughs> here's my, here's my question. Come say, on. Say it was Macho? My, say, here's, my, here's what I asked. Yeah. Say it was Malik Neighbors and Daniel Jones. James that. Jones, say it was Malik Neighbors and Daniel Jones. Mm -hmm. now, oh. how, now how mad can Malik Neighbors be? I mean, I think you're oh. going to be mad, period, off the it's incident. Actually, yeah. But what I'm saying is, is Come on. I don't think that... Like I say, it's your hey, teammate. Okay. He, he is Why are you asking questions you. like this? No, no, Shady, right. Shady, okay. right. he, is, he is not trying to hurt you. No, 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 that's I, not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it's Pat. Yeah. So you can't get mad But at to be Pat. honest with you, Pat or Daniel, I think the reaction is the same. Mm -hmm. Like, even if, no, 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 for real. Even if it was me and Aaron, I'd be like, <laughs> like, bro, that's Aaron. I know, but get yeah. your head up, bro. You, <laughs> I understand the David frustration. Goes, you got your mouth <laughs> said, You literally, bro, you, 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 sorry, you, you doing all type of that. Cause like, yo, first of about? all, you ain't that good. Bro, you can't and you heard me? Yeah. I'm that player. That's what I'm Why did you have at. to ask that Grab question? Because it's, it's like, a real question. He's like, yo, yo, yo you good? Mm, good. good. <laughs> but if it's Pat, it's like, dang, bro. Hey, I know, I know. Hey, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. It's an accident. It's the same thing, though. It's the accident. Did you see the response? So last game, not this last game weekend, the last next last weekend. Yeah. And, and after the game, right? Pat Mahomes talking after the game, oh, post interview. Yeah. And then Rasheed Rice goes, You hear everything he said about Pat? Yeah. Listen, whatever he needs me to do, I'm gonna do. I trust this guy. This is my you guy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Ain't nobody they mother talking about <laughs> Daniel Jones like that. Still, though, you, not you mad? You, you, you texting your mom on the way to the hospital. Yeah, this bum done got the hurt. Like, <laughs> you knew what you're doing, too, to, bro. What are you asking okay, that? Okay, let's get to the real topic at hand. Shady, you won a Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes. Yes, I did. The Chiefs. You absolutely did your first Thank you, Pat. One. Is Mahomes you, good Pat. enough to overcome? Now Rasheed Rice gone, Pacheco gone, and Hilaire, I believe, is coming back, running back. A Hollywood Marquise Brown, he's gone. Is Mahomes good enough to overcome all these injuries? Absolutely. I've, I've been there when I watched, I watched him win with the speedy and explosive offense with Tyreek Hills, right? A, a younger Kelsey, all these type of guys, right? And then I watched him win championships with the, the worst wide receiver core in football, and they still won. Um, I think he's still that good. I think that's the Chiefs overall, the, the chemistry um, that, that Andy Reid has built there, right, in the culture where the offense can feed off the defense and vice versa. Even if you watch his last game against the Chargers, who's a good team, right, where the Chiefs had a time where they couldn't really score. The defense held them in there, held them in there, held them in there, so they tied the game up, and then they took the lead. And I think that with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and that defense, they find a way to win. They just know each other. But, yeah, I do. I will say this, though, because I'm going to text my boy uh, Brett Veach, the GM, my guy, for a long, long time. He's very, very good at his job. Like, all pro, all pro good. And I want to say, like, they need one more piece, though. Because they're trying to three-peat, right? And it's hard as hell to do anyway. And I think that all your guys that you, you kind of got in addition to this season got injured. Go out there and get your number one somewhere, somehow. Devontae Adams. Hey, hey, I, I texted Veach this morning on the right end. What did you say? He needs to trade for a number one receiver. You know what he said? What? Nothing. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm waiting for the text back. Hey, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but for real, like, Devontae Adams probably not going to do it. DeAndre Hopkins, though, Amari Cooper, T. Higgins, they're out there. Those guys are out there for him, and, and yeah. you just go back and... Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was hoping he texted you back before the show. Veach, come on. Oh, I know he watched the show. He knew he was going to the facility. Yeah, he knew, he knew, uh, he knew what was happening. He he's in the facility. Yeah. But I think he's definitely good enough to overcome these injuries. You, you, to Shady's point last year, he won with really nobody at receiver last year. Like, like it was the worst receiver group he's ever had. Bad, bad. But you look at this year for Patrick Mahomes, he's off to his worst start. 
through four weeks. Passing yards, 904 through four weeks. It's the worst in his career. He's six passing touchdowns, four interceptions. Worst to his career. Passer rating, Andy, we're talking about quite possibly the GOAT, but it's his first 4-0 record for the first time since 2020. You know why? Because that defense is good, man. <clears throat> Steve Spagnola, defensive coordinator, he's really, really good. And I tried to figure out, like, Chase, why are the Chiefs winning so much with a horrible, like, unit? Not, not a horrible unit, but, but Mahomes not playing well. <clears throat> it's because they don't make the big mistakes. Yeah. And I think that's where Patrick Mahomes grew a lot last year with that receiver core is, hey, I'm going to go up to the line of scrimmage. I'm going to get us into to the right place, whether it's a run game, whether it's an RPO, whether it's Travis Kelsey, who finally had seven catches for 90 yards, average 13 yards a catch, whether it's punting. A punt is not bad in Patrick Mahomes' mind. You look at the special teams uh, led by uh, Coach Dave Tobe, Tobe. Harrison Bucker is the best kicker in the NFL. Like, they're, they're good. I mean, maybe Brandon Aubrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I th I'm, I'm, I'm biased a little bit. But And then you look at defense and what they're able to do with Chris Jones. Chris Jones is playing some yeah. of the best ball He's I've ever played. seen him play. So it's a real team atmosphere. And so Mahomes understands it doesn't fall on me. He's never had that issue on, like, and he learned last year. It doesn't all fall on me. I have a really good defense. I have a really good special teams. I get to the 40-yard line. All I got to go is from the 20 to the to the other 40. We're getting points. Mm -hmm. Just score points. And it's just like, that's what Andy Reid does so well is each game is a different game plan. Mm -hmm. Just follow the plan to win this game, and then we'll worry about the rest next week. It's just crazy how the world hates consistent winners. Ah, <laughs> you know it. what I'm saying? Like, it's all cool. Like, you won a championship. Ooh, Patty Mahomes is the next day. But now you're in another one and another one. Hold on, man. Mm -hmm. The refs is cheating. All these people is cheating. Like, they, you hate to see a consistent the winner. Refs. What are we talking about right now? This man won a championship when his team was really good. And this man won a championship last year when his offense and his playmakers was really, really bad. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But we are sitting here trying to find another excuse of why maybe he cannot. And Patty and Andy Reid keep telling you... <laughs> Yes, we can. And one thing I do know about Andy Reid and Patty Mahomes, just watching them, I've never played for them, or nothing, but watching them, they don't waste no seasons. Yeah. A trade no. is going to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Andy Reid is not just going to sit back like, we're not good at receiver right now. We got hurt. Um, and just, no, who out there? T. Higgins, mm -hmm. Coop, Devontae Adams, right? Uh, Bengals might start one and four. Mm -hmm. All right? The Cleveland Browns, we already know where they at. They probably going to be one and four. Devontae Adams and the Raiders, he can be on the market. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes and Brett Veach, they're yeah, not Veach. just going to sit back and say, all right, the season of wash because of our injuries and all that. Let's just see if we can climb out yeah. of this hole with the young guys we got. A trade is going to happen for sure. The last That's two it. seasons, they've traded for a receiver. Darius Tony in 2022 and Miko Hardman at 2023, right before the trade deadline. To your point, they're going to trade. Don't make is it going to be somebody, like you said, or can it even be like a Christian Kirk? Yeah. Or Robert Woods, just somebody to give them that edge. A little sum. Well, we will see. The Chiefs beat the Ravens in the AFC Championship game last year, but the Ravens just beat the Bills. Now, keep in mind, on Friday, we all, fortunately, the business was against LaShawn McCoy, the Eagles' all-time leading rusher, former team. The Eagles, Baker Mayfield was throwing dots. That went on Darius Slay. No big plays yesterday. Jalen Hurts, Baker Mayfield, both Oklahoma Sooners. But yesterday, Baker Mayfield got the last laugh. And, well, I need y'all to hear a little something-something before we continue. <laughs> Can Baker win you over with the win over the Eagles? Another one over the Eagles on such <sighs> It depends on how it looks, being honest, right? And I'm going to say no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how it looks. My dog Shady McCoy, very simple, a man of few words at times. And he said it depends how it looks. America, Bucks fans, Eagles fans, you've all been waiting for this oh, moment. He said it depends how it looks. How it look? No. <laughs> but no. Uh, Shady, I thought it looked good, but I'm not LaShawn McCoy. Never walked a day in your shoes, nor could I. But Baker Mayfield had 360 total yards, three total touchdowns. Mm -hmm. You like, said it depends how it looked. Good. Did he yeah. win you over based you know, on how you it know looked? What? First of all, a lot of love to the Bucks. My guy Chris Godwin, Mike Evans is my boys. Is my boys. <laughs> Levante Davis is my boys. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say this real quick. I, I feel like y'all three. <laughs> no, 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 Dance he didn't win you over? No, he didn't. All right. But, like, the underdog thing, y'all keep trying to, like, gravitate <laughs> to. Because I think, nah, like, with Baker, y'all love him so much because he's an underdog. He's doing better now. But 
He can't be an underdog. The, the guy.